this month, the Holy Spirit gave us diocese to arise, shine. Praise the Lord. And today, we want to, we're going to be reading verse 1 and 5. I want us to, we're going to read with understanding. And I just want to, like I said, when the, the first message that we had, that this statement is a command. Arise, shine. It's a command. It's like I'm telling any of my children, I say, I need you to stand up now. Stand. So God said to us this month, arise, shine. And so, in the Bible, we find out that, you know, God, you know, he, sometimes he will appeal. Sometimes he will give an advice. Every scripture that you read, is either an appeal, an advice, a command. And this particular word is saying, arise, shine. In Isaiah chapter 1, verse 18 to 19, when he says, come now, let us reason together. Isaiah 1, 18 and 19. Come now, let us reason together. He says, even though your sins are as, be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. He said, if you be willing and obedient, I say you will eat the good of the land. That is an appeal. Praise the name of the Lord. If you are willing, you say, come, let us reason together. Just if you are willing and obedient, you will eat. He was appealing to us in that, in that scripture. And then in Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19, Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19, the Lord says, I lay before you blessings and curses, life and death. He says, choose life that you and your seed may live. Praise the Lord. So that was an advice. Choose life. He said, I place before you blessings and curses. He said, but I am advising you. Choose life. Praise the Lord. And so we also see that when he said in Mark chapter 16, verse 15, Mark 16, 15, he says, go ye into the world and preach the gospel. That is not an advice. It is a command. Praise the Lord. It is a command. Why are we saying this this morning? In Malachi chapter 3, verse 8 and 9, he said, bring ye all the sides into my house. Malachi 3, 9 and 10. And he now asked, he now said, that, he said, you are, a, you are cursed with a cause, for you have robbed me, even this whole nation. And now he now placed the command, says, bring ye all the sides. It's a command. And so, why am I bringing all this? Because we find out that today is the 30th. But do you know that some people have not even keyed in to this team for this month? Because they feel like, arise, shine, arise, shine. <laughs> what else can I do? But when the Bible is talking about you arising, arise, shine, there's a lot of things that is attached to this scripture. Praise the Lord. And so we are going to be reading verse, you know, one to five. And I will, you know, go one after the other. I will be reading the King James Version. He said, arise, shine, for your light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. The glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. The command is, Arise, 
shine. Your light has come. And it happened to be that it was in these six months that Angel Gabriel visited Mary and told her that you will conceive before you and Jake, Joseph come together. <laughs> and the, Mary was like, <laughs> how can this be? Saying that I know no man. And the Holy Spirit is saying, the power of the Holy Ghost will overcome you. And her response with was, let it be according to your word. For somebody who has not killed him, for somebody who is still saying, look, I have been praying and I have been fasting, you still have the rest of the hours of today to say, I arise and I shine because the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. It's not the glory of any man. It's not the glory of your intellect. It's not the glory of your job. It's not the glory of your business. The glory of the Lord. It's not even the glory of your parents. The glory of the Lord. The man is the glory of the man, of the woman. The, but this glory is the glory of the Lord. So this virgin was able to key in. Because I tell you, if she has said, ah, that is impossible. God always has a replacement. And I pray that you will not be replaced. I will not be replaced. This world has started finding fulfillment. It has found fulfillment in some lives. And it will find fulfillment in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. It's not a scripture for this month alone. Because when the command is arise, shine. So from now till I see God face to face. It's my declaration every day. Margaret or Nobanjo, arise, shine. Your light is come. The light came in June. I don't know why this scripture came this month. But by the time the Holy Spirit is saying, the light was conceived. Undeniable miracle. Undeniable wonders. Jesus, the wonderful world, was conceived this month. And so don't take the scripture lightly. And then when we now I started Again, Holy Spirit, why this thing? Let us look at verse 2. It says, For behold, the darkness covered the hurt and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon you, and his glory shall be seen upon you. Brethren, we, are, we can see darkness like never before all around us. Innocent children slaughtered. Random bullets all over the place. They legalize illicit drug and everywhere you go in some part of our city, you cannot even breathe. Darkness he said, because what? He said, for behold, darkness shall cover the earth. We are seeing things unheard that we have never heard before. Even in this, my 50 plus, I have seen things that never was like this. Never was like this. Now a 12-year-old, a 10-year-old can be charged criminally. Ah, never on earth. 12 years old, now giving birth. We're not talking of a cultural thing because in some culture, they take their children, you know, very, very young girls, and they give them to, you know, a man in some culture. But we are talking of how everything, darkness. The schools now have condoms. The nurses in the nurse's office, they can go there and just pick what is condom doing in elementary school? And now a child can go to any clinic at age 13 and have an abortion with no parental consent. They don't need to consent. The, the parent does not need
need to sign the consent form. They can just go and have an abortion. Gross darkness. Gross darkness. Shooting all over. Men carrying, taking their own children and slaughtering them. And they now kill themselves after they do everything. Gross darkness, indeed. But God is saying to somebody, he said, despite this darkness, this gross darkness, he said, the people, you know, and gross darkness upon the people, but the Lord shall arise upon you, and his glory shall be seen upon you. His glory shall be seen upon you. His glory shall be seen upon your seed. It doesn't matter what goes on. The word of God is finer and is powerful. And it will never go without fulfilling the purpose for which it was sent. He now said in verse 3, he said, And the Gentiles shall come to your light. And kings to the brightness of your rising. Hallelujah. Thank God for that amen. Because I said a very big amen to this. He said, and the Gentiles shall come to my light. And kings to the brightness of my rising. So your rising is not just for, for nothing. The Gentiles, those who don't know God, they will just see that, look, there is a difference. Because the light of God... The glory of the Lord is his light. And they will come. And he now said, kings. Kings. Not ordinary people. Both ordinary, but also kings will come to our, your arising. Mm. He never knew that Joseph was going to be a prime minister in a strange land. Our God is still doing the unusual. He's still doing on the, the, on, he, he, the undeniable. <laughs> the blind man. I like that scripture. <laughs> he said, one thing that I know, when they were questioning him and saying, you know, how did that happen? He said, huh? he said, I don't care. John chapter 9, verse 24. He answered them, Whether he is a sinner, this is Jesus, or not, I do not know. One thing I know that thought I was blind, now I see. I don't care what you, you know, whether you believe or you don't believe it, but one thing that I know that this word does not fail is God Himself speaking this month and I believe that in the name that is above every other name the mercy of God will prevail for us this word will come to life in the mighty name of Jesus the Gentiles will come to our light and the kings will come to the brightness of our rising you are rising above principalities Above powers, above rulers of darkness in high places, above spiritual wickedness, above the wickedness of the wicked. You are rising above every content, above every argument, above every evil imagination in the heart of man. You are lifted. You are lifted. You are lifted in the name of Jesus. And then when we now get to verse uh, 4, he said, Lift up your eyes round about and see all they gather themselves together they come to thee. Thy sons shall come from far and thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side. They come together. See, lift up your eyes. Look around you. The blessing of the Lord. They all gather all around you. Your sons, your daughters, and this could mean that some children that have left home, they will return. Because some families, they are crying, they are weeping over their children that have left their homes. He said they will return. They will come back. See them, they gather all around. And they shall be nursed at your side. Hmm. 
And then, in verse 5, he said, Then thou shalt see and flow together, and your heart shall fear and be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. And this is why I pity those who have given their lives to Jesus. They believe the word of God for every blessing, but they don't believe the word of God for tithes. There is nothing our God can do, not do. When he says, arise, shine, he's saying that your debt, arise, and come out of that debt. That you are coming out of those debts. That those debts will be paid. You might not know how. You don't need to know how. I tell him I don't need to know how. I leave the how for you, daddy. But whatever your word has said, I believe and I receive it. So arise. He's saying to somebody, that, that marriage, you are just patching. That new wine is coming in. Arise to somebody. He's saying, you have stayed on that job for too long. It's time to move. It's time to be promoted. When his word comes, he does not joke. I remember when I cursed him, Father, anyone that is underpaid among this congregation, Father, bring them to their due level for now. And they have not even come to their due level because he did it. They have not come to their due level. He is still going to take his children higher in the mighty name of Jesus. It's just the beginning. It's just the beginning. And so, I just, uh, I want us to let faith arise. Because it is faith that will bring the performance. Shift the focus of this girl. Because the word is not from this girl. It is his word. And his word cannot be broken. What you need to do, the most crucial, believe and to cry to him, to say, Father, in any way that I'm the one injuring myself, have mercy. And make up your mind to obey God totally. Faith, believe, cry to him, total obedience, and your joy will be full in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for your word. Thank you. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your word. Rabba Kabo Shaton de Libro Kosunda Karaba in the name of Jesus. Thank you, ancient of days. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Uh, you are going to cry to the Lord. In 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 12. 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 12. He said, And one of his servants said, None. My Lord, O King, but Elijah, the prophet that is in Israel, tell it the king of Israel, the, tell it the king of Israel the words that were spoken in your bedchamber. The king was accusing them and said, why is it everything that we talk about here? Elijah is saying it. Ah. They said, no, we are truthful to you. But <laughs> the God of Elijah is the one that brings everything. You are going to cry to the Lord and say, Father, you did it for Elijah. I want a seeing eye. I want a hearing ear. I want to see beyond the ordinary. I want to see in the depth of the realm of the spirit. I want to see in the physical realm in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't want to sit on opportunity and miss opportunity. I don't want to sit on breakthrough and not recognize it. I want to be at the right place at the right time. Let your ears, my ears, be found to hear the word of the Lord. You are going to pray that the Lord will anoint your mouth. He said he has laid his eyes. He said, I lay your my hands upon you, Jeremiah. Ah, he has laid his mouth and words in his hand upon you. He has put his words in your mouth. Begin to bind. He said, you will, anything you build will be built. Anything you break down will be break down. Anything you put down will be put down. In the mind.
mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are going to cry and say, Father, I arise from where the enemy has caged me. I arise in any area. I don't know those areas. Begin to tell the Lord, I don't know where you need to arise from. Whether from infirmity, either from sin, either from habit. I arise, I arise, I arise, I arise in the mighty name of Jesus. I arise and I shine, I shine, I shine, I shine. My light cannot be dim because the glory of the Lord cannot be covered in the mighty name of Jesus. When Moses saw the face, he could not even see the face. He only saw the back of our Lord Jesus because he asked for glory. And the Bible says when he came back, they had to cover his face with a veil. Because nobody could behold her. Huh? You are going to cry to the Lord and say, my father, according to your word, you said that your glory will be risen upon me. Ah, let this glory be evident. I pray. I agree with your word. I arise. I shine. Because your glory, your glory, let it be evident upon your children from this time. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your honor and your power and your grace covers them. Thank you because you have done it. And you are going to say, Father, don't let me do anything that will make me lose your glory, your presence in the name of Jesus. And I pray for those who are backslidden. I want you to just cry to God in this one minute and say, Father, have mercy upon me. Take me back. And for those who have not even you know, accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior, you want to cry to say, Father, have mercy on me. I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Because a prayer will not work. He said, you know, the cry of a sinner is an abomination in his ear. And if you pray that prayer, I pray for you that your sins are forgotten. And that from now they are forgiven. And that from now you begin to live. For Christ and Christ alone. You are under a new ownership. The ownership of the Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Daddy we thank you. As your children go this week. Oh God. We bless your name. Because lions are falling. In pleasant places. In the name of Jesus. It is well with you. In the name of Jesus. It is well with you. In the name of Jesus. According to the word of the Lord. He said, I should say unto the righteous. And I say unto you, the third time, it is well with you. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.